Hello, it's me again. I'm Dr. Ernest Po. Just yesterday, a friend asked, I'm going to wait till everyone gets the vaccine. Then I should be safe, right? That's a really smart question. But the question that's on everyone's mind recently is, should I wait and see? Now, initially, I had the same reservations as you towards the COVID-19 vaccine. I was pretty sure when the vaccine arrived in Malaysia, there would be some form of hesitancy towards it. True enough, a national survey showed that only 67% of our population said yes to being vaccinated. About 17% were not sure, and 16% said that they will not receive the vaccine. This does not take into account children below the age of 18 and pregnant women. Children makes up about 20 to 25 percent of our Malaysian population. This means that in order to achieve herd immunity, most adults will need to volunteer themselves to be vaccinated. To answer this question of should I wait and see, let me introduce you to this concept called herd immunity. Now the concept of herd immunity is not something new. It originates way back when people were managing farms and livestock. Imagine you own a farm with 10 cows in it and you have gotten 8 out of the 10 cows vaccinated. Should the remaining 1 or 2 cows become infected with a virus, they would be unable to pass the virus on. So in other words, the whole herd is protected. On the other hand, if only 2 cows were vaccinated, should one or two of the remaining cows become infected, they will eventually pass the virus on to the entire herd. An outbreak will occur. The same concept applies to COVID-19. Experts estimate that between 70 to 80% of the population will need to be vaccinated or immunized towards the virus for the entire population to be protected. Now this is assuming that 70 to 80% of our population gets vaccinated fast enough before the virus mutates into more infectious strain. In reality, achieving herd immunity is complicated and difficult. The more infectious the virus is, the higher percentage of population would need to be vaccinated in order to achieve herd immunity. Take measles for example. Do you remember taking the vaccine for measles, mumps and rubella or MMR for short? Measles is so infectious that up to 90% of the population would need to be vaccinated before herd immunity is achieved. This prevents outbreaks of measles occurring spontaneously in the community. So coming back to COVID-19, we are beginning to see more infectious strains arriving at our shores in Malaysia. So if we do not hurry towards the threshold of 70 to 80 percent, it may render the vaccines ineffective because the virus would have mutated into more infectious strain by then. To put it simply, herd immunity reduces the chance of outbreak. If too many people decide not to vaccinate, it opens up opportunities for the disease to establish themselves again and spread to those who are medically vulnerable. So in short, this is a race against time. We need to rush towards achieving herd immunity in the soonest time as possible before the virus mutates to more super infectious strains. Currently, at the time of this video, only 4 to 5% of the Malaysian adult population has registered to be vaccinated. This is far from the threshold of 70 to 80% of what we hope to achieve. The faster we want to control this pandemic, the faster we need to choose to get vaccinated. There is no time for sitting on the fence, waiting for others to take it first, then evaluating to see whether we should take it ourselves. In recent weeks, I've had visits from patients who are extremely worried because they have come into contact with someone with COVID-19. The stress incurred was tremendous. They had to self-quarantine, isolate, for fear of infecting family members of the same household. Getting vaccinated takes a little pressure off this stress. If you obey the rules of wearing a mask, strict hand hygiene, and physically distancing yourselves with the additional effect of the vaccine, the chances of getting COVID-19 becomes really, really low. So that's all we have for this episode. So what do you think? 
Should we wait and see? Let me know what you think in the comments box below. And if you found this video helpful, do share it out with your friends. Till we meet again, 